And wherever we go, I, I'm always looking for like-minded devotees where we can come together in a small group because I need that. I need that nourishment. And I don't find that in a big temple, even if they all clap their hands and say, wow, that was a great class <laughs> or whatever. It's not satisfying to my heart to just be a, what Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati called a platform preacher. You're not going to change the heart of people. We have to, to get to know individuals. And it, it, it's a disease when we can't see the individual because all we see is the institution. And then we start judging everybody by, oh, he's a senior person in the institution. Oh, he's a temple devotee in the institution. He's an outside devotee in the institution. He's a brahmachari in the institution. He's a grihasta in the institution, but he's a good grihasta. Or he's a grihasta who's independent. That's not good. Or, oh my God, he's a babaji. Or he's a Gaudiya Mutt devotee. Or he's a Christian. I, I'll say this very frankly. I, I make better friends sometimes with Christians and even with Muslims. There was a Muslim couple who came to Jagannath Puri, and we made such good friends with them. I may be better friends with them sometimes than I am with some of my own God brothers. Because friendship is not just based on, on the, having the same guru or being in the same institution. Empathy doesn't indicate and it doesn't necessarily mean uh, the same as endorsement just because I'm friends with someone. But that friendship doesn't know any rules. I can be friends with someone and I can be myself. But sometimes we're not mature enough for that. But Prabhupada was. Prabhupada was friends with uh, Dr. Mishra, who was a hardcore Mayavadi. When Dr. Mishra came to London, you know, Prabhupada's got his institution, everything's, he's become a lot more successful. He doesn't need Dr. Mishra anymore, as he did perhaps in New York, right? Dr. Mishra comes to New York, Prabhupada comes to London, Prabhupada immediately invited him for lunch and was so loving with him. My old friend, how are you doing? But Dr. Mishra is a Mayavadi. <laughs> how can he be friends with him? And Allen Ginsberg, Prabhupada was friends with Allen Ginsberg is a drug addict, homosexual, decadent person. But Prabhupada was friends with him. Friendship doesn't know rules. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? Friendship doesn't know rules. That's amazing. And the examples that you give are very, very poignant. I think sometimes uh, this is where uh, we may lose our humanity in trying to stick to rules. Rules are important, but if sometimes in sticking to rules, we may lose our humanity. You know, uh, maybe this is a whole different subject. Maybe we may have to discuss this in the future, but I just mentioned this. that I was talking with one devotee and they said that you know, maybe they had some problem with one of the regulative principles. And then it was uh, their guides or their authorities were, they came like a thunderbolt on them and that you are... Uh, you have no sense control, you are a lusty animal and this and that. That is not a very serious thing. Like you, know, you said in India, even for a person to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, uh, just even a girlfriend is also considered quite scandalous sometimes. So it is something like that. And this devotee told me afterward that, uh, you know, ISKCON is only a place for devotees. It is not a place for human beings. <laughs> That's a beautiful comment. <laughs> I don't want to be part of that. Stuff. <laughs> but, the, but, but you know something, Chaitanya Charan Prabhu? I belong to another ISKCON. And I have a lot of friends. You're one of my friends. I, I feel. <laughs> here. Yeah, I and, and, I, and there's so many thinkers and artists and individuals that I'm friends with. And we're ISKCON devotees. And, and I'm very happy. It depends on what, which direction you're looking at. You know, the cup is half full or it's half empty, right? 